Hello everyone, and welcome to something old, I guess. First of all, Queen Killer Clown. I hope your internet gets better, <laughs> seriously. Anyway, um, yeah, we haven't done this for a long time. Okay, let me explain. Long, 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 long time ago, I started Pokemon Sword Team, I think right after Platinum. Right after we beat it, I just started streaming it because it was a lot more funner. Well, ways of fun. It, it was a newest Pokemon game back in the time. Now a lot of people have Pearl and Diamond, Shining Pearl, Arceus, so it's eh. Sword and Shield kind of holds something to my heart for it. I never got into competitive rank. So, welcome to competitive rank with me. Right now, we're going through the main story. That's what we're doing. Or semi to the main story of Crown Tundra because I already finished actually Isle of Armor. Those odds are on my YouTube if you want to check them out. First of all, let's go over the schedule very quickly. Uh, today, Pokemon Sword Team, Episode 4. Um, don't know quite how long I'm gonna go for this. Um, this is probably gonna be a for quite some time. Then I'm gonna move over to Queen Kenda's channel, and me and two other friends of ours are gonna play Final Fantasy XIV together. So, check out her channel. And if you want me to, I've got to see a very mass voting on this. I would like to see if you guys want me to actually stream my point of view, tell me. I'm going to see a lot of people saying yes to this. I'm not a big FF14 fan. Anyway, let me actually get on with my life here. Saturday, we're going to actually be streaming some Splatoon 2 again, and I have an idea. It's a scary idea, but it's an idea. I'm going to take a weapon that I never used before and try to figure it out. Mostly I used. It's complicated. Then Wednesday, we're going to go to jump back into the Gallo region, finish what we need to do, and pretty much maybe even complete that team. I have a new team and idea in mind, so pretty much I know what I'm doing here. So much. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I am going to need some help, but I'm sure some of my friends can help me. Then, Friday, uh, May 27th. It's kind of flip-flopped. It kind of depends what Wednesday is going to do. Either we're going to go for Episode 6 for Galar, or we're going to go right back in Inkopolis. One of those two. So, let's do that. Shall we? But right now. Ah. I'm freezing cold out here! Seriously. I don't know how- I don't know how most- Look at this girl. He's frozen stiff. Okay. When we last left off, by almost pretty much half a year, we enter the Crown Tundra, battle a, fa a father to prove his worth to his daughter, who went to the Dynamax Adventure Caves. As you see, I'm still... Sorry, my queen. I am still my iron, uh, Isle of Armor gear. Ugh, I swear. Here we go, max layer. Intriguing. Please, sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there. I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off uh, right now. I simply can't allow it, sir. Er. Oh. Is there, uh, there you are, lad. We came after I'll have ya. 
gonna matter. Nothing, uh, nothing's all right, and everything's a matter. This ultra mega numpty, ultra mega. The only I'm, I'm having five questions. Anyway, of a scientist insists of getting in my way. Numpty of a. Take your pardon, sir. If you be so good as to sim uh, simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax Avengers are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and uh, I got no patience for standing here. Listen, to uh, to you rattle off to a fine print. Uh, we're just going around in circles. You know this, gentlemen? Would you simply listen to my expectation? If so, I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Ah, now you're talking. Go on, then let's actually hear what the good lady has uh, got to say. The only that one brain cell kept saying, "I'm lonely. I'm lonely," isn't it? And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right? All right, let me explain something here. Dynamax Adventures, I kind of like. It's the only thing that came out of the uh, Crown Tundra, besides actually pretty much more legendaries and Galarian forms. That's all I gotta say. Lady, explain. Are you ready to hear my expiration on Dynamax Adventures? No. That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well, and I'll proceed. The max layer is a labyrinth on the ground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell. The lights which no, uh, normally are not found in the Gala region. Dynamax Avengers! For a form a team of four trainers set off to explore the mis uh, mysterious max layers. See if you can find actually a legendary Pokemon set to wait in the deepest part of the uh, unusual den. A okay, part of the uh, Dynamite Adventure is you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select a Pokemon, and they will take them on with their adventure. As you explore the dens, you'll come to branches in the uh, path. Decide as a team uh, which way to go. When you came across actually a Dynamax Pokemon, it will uh, time for a max rate battle. Catch the Pokemon and you can swap out with uh, one of the. Uh, sorry, I can't talk today. One of the uh, you have, if you think it will be helpful, press on the depths of the den. Avoid risk of the Galar particle ever exposure, which can uh, cause uh, your own dear Pokemon to lose control. I know some of my Pokemon may want to do that. We have a pair of Pokemon for uh, for you that actually resist the particles' effects. Right, right, I follow ya. So you're saying you don't want um, Galar losing control, so the Pokemon rent some particles. So we might uh, see a rare overexposure? That's truly certainly incorrect, sir. It is a dangerous place. Please make sure you have a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a, a touch lost, but that's what the type of place this is, eh? Right. Sounds like actually uh, this is all a bit beyond me. So I'll just go. I'll just go in and get cracking. Here comes Papa, my little darling Nia. Yoni. Like I said, at one brace, I kept saying, "I'm lonely. I'm lonely. I'm lonely." Sir, no! I just told you it's too dangerous. What's going on with that man? Well, it's so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match Chairman's at all. Oh my god, he kind of does. I didn't notice that. Well, if you're ready, go chase him down. <sighs> Pardon me, I meant actually uh, you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure. Please let me know. I have to walk two feet. You're going on Dynamax Avenger will provide actually the Dyna or as a reward. 
I'll also let you keep one, uh, uh, keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Do you like to embark on a Dynamax uh, adventure? I have no choice. Saving. All right. Ah, huh. well, while we wait. Hey. Let me tell you a little something about uh, this. I like Pokemon. <laughs> okay, let me explain. My very first Pokemon games were red and blue. I never played gold, silver, and crystal. Maybe some many I do. And another thing I need to do is probably actually finally finish this game. I already finished the main entitlement, so I kind of started very late. Of course, that, that was back then, actually, when I wasn't really streaming, like, at all. Like, I never had my setup. Wow, oh, really? Owen? Oh, this game is actually super old, but still, come on. Anyway. What all my Pokemon journey is. Technically, if the new Pokemon games do come out, uh, which is Scarlet and Violet, I will play actually one of them. The Pokemon will have to interest me, and the Legendary will have to actually pretty much beg for me. Yeah, right. And I just choose actually one I like. The only reason I'm playing Sword technically is because I like Zacian a lot better than Zamazenta. Wow. You know, I thought actually I thought actually in solo cube lobbies were actually this horrible. Apparently I'm wrong. Everyone's actually probably over in Splatoon 2 waiting for Splat 3. <laughs> and we just gotta wait one more minute. Pretty sure me and the swabble guy is actually pretty much good. Pokemon faints four times in uh, total, or ten turns uh, elapsed. A single battle. I knew that. Come on. And I should just actually went with actually pretty much an uh, NPC team. Come on, Dynamax Adventure. Twenty more seconds. Twenty more seconds. Twenty more seconds down this road. We will keep going. On this road. Hey, we went one more. Almost actually at the end of the tiebreaker. Three, two, one. Okay, our Pokemon are Tauros. Okay, they chose Bisharp. I like Phalanx. Let's do Phalanx. Oh, there was a Golurk! Ugh. If anyone doesn't know, I really... Alright, Gigantamax and Creamery. Interesting. I really like Ghost-type Pokemon. Like, really like them. The Dragon! Strong Dragon-type of reaction. Um, oh. I didn't mean to choose the ice. Well, actually, that's a lot more better for Phalanx. I think that might be Pyloswine? That's with a question mark? <laughs> yep, I was right. Oh, that's loud. Sorry if actually might interface is actually coming twice. Okay. Well. Ooh. This one's better. 70, 75 also breaks. There are misses. Let's do snow because of ground typage. Brick break. Pile of mine. Bomb mine. Oh my word, that indeed is actually pretty much becoming more powerful by the second. 
I didn't help. Uh, Say guard. Oh, that's for everyone. Wow. Rock tomb on Indeedy. Speed fell. Hey, I could Dynamax, which I'll probably do. Dynamax. X Knuckle. By the way, how broken is actually pretty much failing if it was an actual real uh, animal? Because there's five little Pokemon. It's five Pokemon. Nice slash. That's Knuckle. That's my attack. Oh, I upset everyone's attacks. Scorching Sands. This got fire. Which did do something. Wow. This like ground type is doesn't really help. Doesn't do anything. Another max knuckle. I think my Max Knuckle will actually pretty much kill it. Yep, there we go. Ah, don't catch. I like Phalanx. One of the others wanted to catch it, they could. Yep, someone did. I'm gonna stick with actually the Pokemon I have. Some people are disgusting. They are disgusting. I'm not really disgusting. And the communication on these things are horrible. How's everyone doing? I know I was talking to Queen Killa Clown, but. I don't think they're here. Someone is. I have one viewer. <laughs> I'm on. Blizzard, Rock Tomb, Ice Shard, Superpower. Hmm. Okay, someone just uh, switch it out. Wow. Ooh, ghost type. Roselia, that is. I don't know. Psychic. I wanna go ghost. Yep. Looks like we're going for the ghost type. Ghost type are, are my favorite types. You encounter a backpacker. I can share my supplies with you. Oh. Um. Basically, the speed sharply when a Pokemon misses a move um, because of accuracy. Shell fell, look very leftovers. Let's take the leftovers. Alright. What is this guy? I couldn't tell about the shape. Looks like a Driplum, baby? No, it's pure ghost, right? No, because. I also why it's actually... Oh! It was a jail ascent. <laughs> I always see the Pringles one. Never the misses. Oh, this is gonna be bad, I just realized. Do I have anything? Nope. First impressions. Oh, the move uh, has great power and only works on the first turn. Each time the user enters a battle. Alright, let's do first impressions. We're kind of hoping with the, uh, the Golurk. Which they are attacking. Oh! Dynamaxing D&D. 
If you don't know what I'm talking about, look in the upper le uh, left hand corner of uh, the UI up there. Pile Swine is still thinking. I I was late up. There we go, finally. I just had to make a, a uh just had to make a reference. <laughs> Is this me or indeed the edgy will be weird? <laughs> That's just weird. For suppression. That does run nothing. Phantasm. Does do damage. Lowers defense. Shadow punch. Does a heck of a damage. Dazzling Gleam. Oof. Blizzard. I also have the attack. Bring my leftovers. Which does it get me back into the green? What is this? It'll be about 35. I place my, my attack up one time. Sword dance. I, don't know, I just want to see actually how much damage first impressions will have done, and then we'll actually pretty much have gone from there. Nice. I think if Goldock actually does one more shadow punch, Nelson does go down. My uh, source dance is just such a for a backup for Golo. Which I need it. When boys attack. Cool. My speed fell though. Not cool. That's helpful. Not. Gain some extra uh, HP back. Not enough to put me back in green. Smart strike, Ellison. DD is still trying to decide on their move. They got it. Max Phantasm. Oh, which kills Jellicent. Do I want Jellicent? That's the thing. Don't catch. I didn't see any ice moves. We need to actually. If I'm gonna actually pretty much try to catch that dragon, I might as well actually pretty much have a good Pokemon. Right now, the first person should actually keep. Oh, they had. Uh, they didn't use Icy Wind. Oh, Trick Room would have been good. And Dazzling. Oh, my. Guess who's a stupid idiot? Guess who's a stupid idiot? It's the streamer! Ugh. Okay, okay. I can handle this. I can handle this. I am a semi-professional. Takes down the plaque. Puts up a new one up. Semi-professional. I also wish it, these communication screens actually came out a little bit more. Oh, and someone's taking Jellicent. We're fighting. I'm gonna go with grass. Because I do have first impressions. I don't know everyone's choosing that one. Among Us? Not sure. Oh, it's Wisdom Cot. Wow, oh, that, that's a noise. That's a noise. <laughs> I just realized it's also slightly flying. <laughs> Let's do a first impressions, even though it didn't really do much for me. I 
You know what this actually reminds me of back in the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? It was something similar to this. Where you pick the Pokemon and try to go through as many as battles as you can with that one Pokemon. This is what this reminds me of, but a lot more tweaked. How is a tweaked? Um, in that one, you kind of have to rotate the Pokemon after, I think, 10 battles. At least this one, you only have to go through five battles, but you get to rotate the Pokemon as you keep going. That means you build a team. Okay, first impressions are not worth it. Ooh, that's... That's bad. That's bad. Is this me actually pretty much we're doomed? No. But has our first faint. The fire. If you do icy wind, Jellison, that'll be perfect. Trick room. <laughs> it's outside of the room. A heal. What the? Oh. Oh! I forgot, grassy terrain. It actually pretty much uh, gives us HP back. But literally, this thing can. Uh, this thing actually literally helped us. Heart strike. Let's do sword dance on Phalanx. Then we can do Smart Strike. Elson's doing an attack. If Idle Swing can do an attack of an Ice move. Oh! No, I forgot. They're, uh, they're fainted. But still cheering on is a better thing than actually not doing anything else. You know what gimmick I really liked? Mega Evolution. That put a spin on everything, and I loved it. Go, go, go! That was like use dive, it hit underneath water, it's not gonna do. Of course, the AI took out Jellicent. AI is dumb. Oh, this is just me and the, uh, the Indeedy. Which. They got down to half. Ray love is this. I'm getting healed by Grassy and then by leftovers. Oh yeah, they're also healed. All right. Okay, now I can Dynamax, which is a good thing. Dynamax, Steel Spike, on Wintsmacott. I'm using it. Still deciding. Delson's gonna use Dive. Is not gonna do Rud nothing. If that Pile Swine can uh, do an Ice move. And indeed, you're fine. You're, you keep using what you're using, Mystical Fire. Please. I plead. I plead with all my heart. Please. Use Mystical Fire. Thank you. We got five blue armies. Love that Sam. Blizzard. It missed. Run nothing. X has still spike. Ooh. Do miss go fire. Do miss go fire in DD. Please, 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 please. please. Perfect. Do I want 
I might actually try to grab this. Let's use Mass Brawl. Uh. Die Ball. I'm like, I really want this thing, but. I kinda want a good Pokemon against that dragon. Even though this Pokemon is mostly for setups, it's good. Come on. See, it has Hurricane and Taunt and Energy Ball, but Play Rup would be good. Plus the Prankster ability. So I just might want to keep that just for that. I want to swap my Pokemon. Sorry, Phalanx, but I need a Fairy. And you had nothing that was working for me. Well, I keep the item, cool. Alright, what's the dragon? What's the dragon? In music. Hey! Did you have a crush on an anime boy one time? Yes, I watched the Pokemon movies. Well, at least I have, I have some defense. Um. I want to know its moveset first, so play rough, body us. Dragon Psychic. Delson's gonna be helpful, but I really are the AI is gonna be helpful. Kyle Swine is gonna be helpful. I don't know what NDD besides Mystical Fire it has. And some kind of ghost move. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. And also, I would like to actually, indeed, you actually finally choose actually a thing for it. Thank you. Good. Nice chunk. That was great. Surf. That was some water as well, so that's gonna be healed. Fire, we're just gonna go nothing. Nice. Trick room. That's gonna be helpful, actually, if towards me. I'm gonna heal a little bit. Do two leftovers. Oscar can dynamask, which I'm assuming is Jellicent. Play rough. I don't want that Surf to be actually pretty much its move. Ugh, this is tough. Okay, so my plan is I'm hoping it has like some stat decreaser or something or stat increase. Which would be horrible, but if I haunt it. And it doesn't get to use it as often. I don't know what this Latias technically has. Don't get me wrong, I want this thing because I love Latias. My shard. That's gonna do us some chip damage. As I'm clean, good. Finally, AI made a good decision. Let's go fire. Someone made a bad decision. Special attack fell, which is good. Flex type. Came a ice ground type. Ice ground, great. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, ground type bitch. Wow. It chose a bad typeage. <laughs> uh, he's ground, so mystical fire will help. The pyro swine is gonna be not very helpful. Let's 
don't know about gel sims. Maybe actually diving will be helpful. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Dual type edge is kind of hard on me. See? Alright. I also want to go on Dynamax. Trick Room is still up. Also, I realize actually my thing here is actually pretty much bad idea. Max Hailstorm, which is not helpful, and now tailing, which is gonna be bad for me and the other two. And the on these water, that's good. Let's go fire, good. Dragon Breath, bad. And Kuna did an attack twice. Say Pokemon, that does happen. Everyone's taking damage. What's this do again? Just making sure. Now it only allows to use an attack move. Oh. What are you thinking then? Oh well. I think if everyone does it correctly and Ladias does not do actually reflect type, we should be fine. We should be fine. And if we're not fine, this goes south very fast. We can blame it on the AI. I wish actually the indeed the owner would actually there we go. Hellstorm again. Dive. Alright. Go fire, we'll kill it. There we go. I am gonna try to catch this thing. Catch. That football. It's a hundred percent catch rate for the uh, host, which I am. You bonk. Ding. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Uh, Ladios, please. 11 Dino Ores. Let's get four dams, reach uh, the innermost areas of two. Uh, a very special Pokemon, times three. Have to wait for others to play, two. Eh. Nah. His stats. Up attack, low defense, only 8 out of 10 Dynamax levels. Reflect High, Dragon Breath, Zen Hippa, and Surf. Lonely. Not a family. Perfect. Okay. To the box. We're in an area of ice. Cutscene. Ugh, I swear. You know this place is actually kind of cool. It's match me. Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for a Dynamax adventure too? I skipped the button. I'm Fiona. Nice, uh, nice to properly meet ya. What about you? What's your name? Silver Shadow. Whoa, what a perfect name for ya. It really suits ya. I don't know if it's a compliment or an insult. Taking it as a compliment. So my dad is on his way here too? I haven't seen him. 
He has gone turn around and wound up back at the entrance. Listen, sorry for using you as a distraction, um, my old man back there. That's stubborn as a mudbray. Things go all right after I left. Yeah, yeah. What? Be my old man? You should pull a blinder there. He used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on a holiday, he's no pushover. No, my dad was going mad with uh, excitement for his trip. He kept going about how he planned for, uh, for us to check out a local legends on the super intense adventure tour or event tour, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age uh, would be caught dead with some nice thing uh, like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah. Girl battling one of those massive towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me all pumped. Uh, all pumped. <laughs> and now, I just have a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? And I bet you can handle and take my place on the old man's event tour. Sounds like great fun. You right, it does. It's a brilliant idea. If you do uh, say uh, so myself. So he's uh, hyped up about this. It was a shame uh, to uh, just leave him on his own. And who knows? Who about uh, running into a legendary Pokemon? How about me? Uh, me back up uh, uh, with you about uh, you two after I have my own phone in the Max Slayer. Go on, then. Enjoy uh, your twosome tour of legends. Tell me, old man, to deal with all of that. We got roped in to another situation. Oi! And Fiona is dead. Well, uh. Oh, uh, it hurts. It ultra mega hurts. Nia, where's my darling Nia? What happened? gentleman appeared to have tripped on a rock and stuck his head. <laughs> okay, okay, I will admit to this. I did watch someone else play the Crown Tundra before. I barely remember anything. I know you can catch legends. I know all that. The dialogue I don't remember at all, so this is gonna be a fun treat for me. Ugh, ventures are not to be taken lightly. True. I learned that uh, first head on now. First hand, I mean. I was checking to see if my little girl was behind some rocks, and look how uh, I ended up. Just uh, let all the kids know, please be careful when you're looking behind rocks now. Thank you all, and have a good night. Some rocks? Is your daughter a, a roly coly? There we go. I'm all up. There's no uh, bumps going to actually keep me down long. That kid's got me feeling right as rain. How about then, lad? Did you find my darling Nia? Well, hear how it went. Huh, you don't say. So, darling Nia Sarah uh, staying away until she had her fill of Dynamax Adventure hot stuff. And she wants uh, the two of us to go ahead and get cracking on Fiona's grand event tour. No, I gotta burn the candle at both ends, working the best itinerary I could uh, for my uh, dear Nia's sake. But I guess uh, she's at the age where she doesn't want her old man tagging along uh, all the time. I'm trying to press uh, her into doing what I want to do. Probably won't uh, win win me any Dad of the Year awards. I know the feeling on that. All right then, what's your name, kid? Silver Shadow. Cheers, Silver Shadow. My name's Fioni. Wait, you already told uh, you so. 
<laughs> it's twice as nice to meet ya. Hey guys, Lee card. Let's have ourselves a smashing adventure that my dear Nia have been itching to join the, for the end of the fun. Yes, let's. Now that's Ultra Mega Grain uh, repo uh, uh, Response. I must have repose. I don't know why. Just want to be hopping the hig. <laughs> We're going to have ourselves actually a real tree of legendary Pokemon hunt. So that's the side now then, Silver Shadow. Let's get ourselves actually a freezing tent. It's a town just a short ways off. It's time for a, a strategic plan. Me and for uh, Fiori's event tour. I fill in the details once we get there. I say, let's uh, re uh, reconvince. Who's haste? What is he? Professor Egad? <laughs> Just pulling your leg. I can't imagine if you uh, actually talk to me like that. <laughs> Hold. In game, not in real life. Oh, you can't swallow the camera in here. That kind of sucks. Ah, uh, I hate the snow. <laughs> okay, let me explain. I live in a cold area, <laughs> and it's it snows. Yep, yep. There it goes. And the snow here is not exactly the best. So seeing this is triggering actually uh post traumatic syndromes. A lot. Go ahead and get the bike. Snom. Pile swine. A girl. Going the wrong way. Right? Yeah, I did. Before we go to Fiona. Or not. Reason 10, Crown Tundra. Nice place. Oh, hello, hello! What have we here? Another visitor? I'm the mayor of this uh, fair town, Friesenton. I must say it's a surprise to have visitors arriving in your out of the way town one after another. Are you even here to learn about the legend of the King of Bountiful Harvests as well? Yes. Ah, never mind, uh, it hardly bears asking. After all, there's a little otherwise to attract other visitors to our sleepy little corner of the region. It's a bit of shame, really. People will come all this way to investigate what turns out to be merely a fairy tale. But since you made the journey, I must offer uh, you this in the freezing tin, fish eyes, and the memento. A boat net uh, sweatshirt. The short arrival influences the uh, likeness of our keen, bountiful hoverses. I'm afraid it hasn't sold quite as well as we hoped. We've got a fair number left over. It illustrates the base of on an extremely ancient accounts of the king's appearance. Hence an unusual size head. But we thought it might make a design as a torch more hip, as they say. If you'd like to actually see what the king really looked like, I suggest that you look at the statue by the fields in the center of the village. Sorry, every time I'm, uh, I'm looking at uh, this... Uh, I, I know this Pokemon, trust me. I, I know all the Pokemon that actually in here. Oh look, Fiona's house is right behind her. By the way, be here to, uh, in the Crown Tundra. Feel free to, uh, to let your Pokemon out. It's a... Out of its ball and take it for a stroll. Come on now, then. Boy! Over here, Silver Shadow. Let's investigate first. Oh, first of all, I saw. Hi, Thermal. 
Yeah, by the way, if you, if you don't know my team, because we kind of went inside Dynamite's Adventures, my team. This is Thermal, Geyser, Harvest, Nuclear, Merlin, Rattles. Thermal because the Gigantamax version of Synthoscorch looks like a radiator. Thermal, radiator. Geyser, mostly because actually he shoots water out of his finger. Geyser. Harvest, it's grass. What do you expect? Nuclear, because he looks like he works in a nuclear uh, power plant. I should call him actually, um, radiation, but... Eh, I thought I actually promise this would be a lot more better. Plus radiation poisoning, nuclear. Merlin actually has a kind of a cooler backstory. That's why I'm going him for last. Rattles is supposed because actually for chingling scales. So the scales are always rattling when he's walking around uh, when she's walking around. Only girl too. Merlin, on the other hand, has actually pretty much a cool uh cooler little backstory. Technically, in this lore, Merlin the Wizard, back in King Arthur's court, was never there. Instead, it was the sword that was Merlin. It's kind of like a figment of actually pretty much the ghost of before. Yeah, I couldn't just name the thing Arthur and pretty much been done with my story, but still. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Which Merlin out. There we go. Come on, Merlin. Oh, he is slow. There are some Tianesia. Blunder policy. That's what we saw actually in the uh, Dynamax Adventure. How do I get in there? There it is. <laughs> okay there, Merlin. Kill the umbrella. Now it's held by a Pokemon. The sturdy umbrella protects the holder from effects of the rain and harsh sun. Cool. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Weird. That guy must be actually doing the same venture as I am right now. Random viewer! <laughs> ah! There you are! This Poké Little Place will be our logins! But at this moment, it's also something of a fair more important. Our base camp! I know, I know, it's not much of a base camp, is it? Still, we gotta actually give it a proper air of importance. Haven't we? Now, fair of laughing about uh, Silver Shadow, let me actually tell you about the P uh, Peony Exploration Team is after. Around here, we got a fair few strange and mysterious legends. For example, a huge hitch Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. Not to mention, a massive red tree where uh, legendary flying Pokemon gather. Furthermore, Great Hogan dart to face giants that sleep in some ruins or something. And etc. See what I mean? This place is just bursting with uh, juicy legends. And we're stopping at nothing until we actually uh, just found how much truth we got them. And there you have it. We got Peony's uh, exploration team. And we got a grand, uh, noble. Magnificent goal. Of course, if I have my way, I'll be doing this with my darling Nia. But who knows? Maybe, uh, even a chancy meeting can be led to a blissful friendship. I hate it already. So we're here on the Grand Adventure Exploration, uh, exploration Chief Silver Shadow. If obviously, look. What do you uh, think actually would happen if two of us went actually gallivanting off together? My dear Nia could come along for uh, for a grand emotional reunion, find this place empty. 
Just the thought of it. My own darling daughter sitting alone in, her, in this room. Hitting for her papa. Gah! Nope. On my watch. I never let that happen. So I'll be holding down the fort, uh, chief. Which means... You get all the pressure of being actually the exploration uh, chief. <laughs> Which brings me to this. Go on, have it. We got a uniform. Boots. Backpack. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. It's uh, you like a glove. I bought some spare uniforms so my darling Nina will have a few chances into. Uh, into. So there's enough to actually give you one. And if you ever need a change or have a, actually a kit, by all means, this hands is uh, bedroom in the back here. Yeah. I got some different color scarves in there. So switch up uh, if you fancy a bit of style. Like style? Here, have these two. Let's just include one. Who about the King of Bastardful Harvests? It's written by Fioni. All photo is attached to it. Huh, that doesn't look the same statue as that's outside. A fairy tale of in freezing tin about a legendary Pokemon known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. In the legends, the king is said to actually wear a massive crown on its head. But the wooden statue is near the field in the uh, middle of the village. It shows no sign of a crown. Legendary 2! Learn about the Legend of Giants, written by Peony. It has a unique drawing. You never went to art school, did you, Fioni? Far into the giant's bed lies a, a temple where the giant's stone sleeps. On the temple's door, there are strange words. Let the ma ha change. What? The door remains firmly shut. Stuck in the side of uh, snow-sized slopes. Lies a temple where the giant ice sleeps. On the door's temple are strange words. Wah. The get Giving. The. Uh. The. No. Door remains firmly shut. Near the, uh, near the green meets the snow. Giant's bed lies a temple. Where the giant still sleeps on the temple doors. Are strange words. But. Out. No. Wah. I ain't. Deal. The door remains firmly shut. The distance plans are a three point pass lies at the temple where two giants sleep on the temple door. There are strange words. B E door. All B ended. The door remains firmly shut. Legendary clue number three. Clue by actually legendary bird Pokemon ran by Fioni. It's a unique drawing. This looks nothing like the um, one we had. The sun reaches in the zenith. It shines directly upon a great tree with leaves that seem to burn. It is there that legendary wings come to roost. Here's the legendary clues I have um, materially compiled for hours of decade. It's only watching. First off, we have a look at the about the King of Bountiful Harvest. Harvest, Harvest. This is my tongue starts working, people. It means the King of uh, Bonds a, a loyal to a steed or whatever it's called, uh, run properly deep. So it had a, a name to this expedition. I call it the Sacred Bonds of the. So you're changing. Uh, thank you. I am. Ugh. There's a great base statue bang in the middle of the uh, village. Also, my head is massive as uh, in my notes. Huh. Want to change back to your usual clothing? Eh, I'm fine. Plus, it's warm. Time to investigate the uh, legend surrounding Crown Tundra. <laughs> I just had an idea. There's something to help you out. Okay. I'm supposed to be one of the ultra make uh, make a corkers of a ball. Use it whenever you uh, you thought to. I got the ages uh, 
uh, ages ago from somebody I used to know. So I could uh, could bring myself to actually use it though. If you got a bit of a turnaround, come back to my base camp anytime. Can't miss it. I just look for actually a venturing crew f uh, flag. I stuck out front. And made by yours truly. Anyway, I suppose that's it. Let's get our grand adventure begin. Have a smashing time out there. I sound like Rex. Amazing, isn't it? It is truly amazing. Huh. Those look quite different. Oh, God. everyone is scary in the silver. Oh, uh -huh. what do we have here? Yes, there they are. These are exactly what I've been looking for. I knew my hypothesis was spot on. Huh? Wait, Silver Shadow? What are you doing in a place like this? Boring. Are you having me on? Freezing place. Well, I, I kind of a, a local I pick a, uh, pick to go exploring, but for ending up to me. But here I am stuck in the Crown Tundra, trying to actually learn more about a group of Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that prefer places where there are no people. The Pokemon that choose to live in in, in isolation. The Crown Tundra here is a place for all sorts of Pokemon. If my theory is correct, then I think actually a certain trio of legendary Pokemon could be lurking somewhere in these lands. I'm sure my theory is not wrong. So you uh, want some proof? Then look here. See those footprints? Huh. I found evidence of, of the Iron Will Pokemon. That's 2% that they need to track it. Theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, Grasslands Pokemon are somewhere out here on Tundra. There's evidence that scattered all over the place that led us to them. You can find more evidence, collect 100% of the data, you need to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use uh, my Pokemon Finder to uh, figure out what habitats are living in. And this place is what it's called. It's putting me in hibernation mode. You plan to stick around in here, uh, here for a while, Silver Shadow? Think I could try to spot more evidence like this if it report it to me when you find it. I'll award you uh, for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in the house there, so I can stay warm and cozy. Maybe even uh, feel my fingers. I uh, so I can actually grip a pen and write, of course. So I'll be working hard on my research. Oh, Sonya. Root. Ball cap. Okay. Now. Go ahead and see about this strange statue. By the way, there will be some off. There we go. I don't mind you're in the way. But anyway, there will be some actually off stream stuff done. Mostly part of the. Yes? Erling, you're being weird. Stop it. There will be some on-stream stuff, mostly for the footprints that we found over there with Sonya. And for team stuff. Otherwise, this is going to be pretty much going on for quite some time. 
probably gonna do maybe two of these legends right now, and that's pretty much gonna be it. Got you with the Pokemon. But somehow it feels as it's missing something. Huh, weird. Well, time to just kind of go out here and pretty much just look around. Uh-huh, okay. Alright, mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, I'm stumped. Hey, Fioni. Take a nap. Hello. Hey, Chief! My pillow, uh, my pillow's caught your eye, eh? Your pillow? Boy, listen here, Chief. I got some wisdom to impart. Uh, impart. You can put, uh, put it on your head as I have a, a kip as a pillow. Before July, I, I went and le I left my favorite pillow back at home. I went to have a look around town for something to rest my head on. And I found this uh, uh, back behind the inn. I have it? Come off it! Uh, come off it! You want to actually hand over my ultra uh, make a comfy pillow? That's asking a lot, even coming from you, Chief. Huh? Is that? Then my pillow got something to do with the legendary Pokemon? Ah, Ultra Mega Serious. This is actually not just some old thing I found. But if you really want it, Chief, well, I might refuse. All right. All right, go on and have it. But you better actually make sure that you track, uh, track that legend down. Wooden crown. Mysterious object made of wood. It's made of wood, Fioni. Part of it seems to, uh, to ch be chipped. Maybe it's meant to actually be part of something. Well, time to go back outside. Take the statue again. I like to put the wooden crown on. Could fit actually on top of the statue here. You try it fitting on? Yeah. Russell Russell. Drunk. There we go. Wooden crown fit perfectly on the statue. Uh, huh? Huh? Arlen, did you say something? Uh Danger Stranger, Danger Stranger. Does it want you to follow it? Oh, last time actually I actually followed a Pokemon that was strange looking. I was let's just say actually pretty much I wasn't all there. Sometimes actually I feel like actually Fiona's not all there, but hey! The guy, right? Seems to as the mysterious Pokemon wants you to test your strength. You want to array a Pokeball? Yeah. Crap! Roll crap! Something appeared. We're not entirely sure. Merlin? Crap. Round. Intriguing. Never receive berries, huh? Hmm. Type. Well, green. Maybe grass, but I have nothing for grass, so we'll go for stabbing. Fly shot. Ooh. Probably psychic? Not very effective. Hands change. Blade form. A ball. <laughs> Blue tells me I believe Merlin's way too powerful. Thank you, guys. Well, that happened. Crown, row round, round, crown. 
are you? Round, crow round, round, crow, crow round, round, go around, round, round. Now shake that thing and go around. Oh, uh. oh, what's up? I hear a big ruckus uh, coming from over here. What is this now, Chief? Were you having a Pokemon battle? Huh? What's that massive noggin? Hmm. Round. One brain cell round. Huh? Hey. What's this? Uh, uh, <laughs> Ah, yes. Sturdy body, just as I expected. I hope he doesn't mind if I'm using his mind. There's not much actually up there. It's pretty easy to actually take a hold. I hope he doesn't mind that I made use of it for a, be uh, for a time being. No Pokemon? Oh, I see you have grasped the situation already. That's a stew of you. I am Calyx. I am known as the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have borrowed this man's body in order to thank you in person, so to speak. Indeed, there are no words to adequate express my gratitude. Of course, for you restoring my statue. In days long past, I resigned over these lands as king. The humans offer their uh, loyalty and respect, as I was able to actually bring lush vegetation to the land, give them actually plentiful harvests uh, year after year. However, it seems actually many year, many many years. I cannot talk. Apparently, people have this land have uh, forgot my existence. They used to actually make offerings to me every year, but. Even that tradition has long since been lost. The ravages of uh, time. See, it is actually the faith of people that grants me my strength. Now I have lost all the fraction of my former power. Even my loyal steed has abandoned me. However, we're kind enough to actually restore my statue. And it has returned some strength to me. And at least I was able to speak by borrowing uh, the body of another. Now, the kind hearted human child, I can add a uh, favor to ask of you. I must know once and for all whether the people have truly forgotten about me. I wish you to speak to the villagers and ask them if they remember the King of Bountiful Harvests. I have tried to ask him myself, so you understand. But they have treated me as some sort of fairy tale creature, or flew in a mild panic of, at the sight of me. Please, kind hearted human, I beg of you uh, for you help me. I shall keep him right here for a moment. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Oh! Uh, ooh, sparkle. Speed candy, always nice. The Pokemon King? Oh sure, my grand used to actually tell me stories about one time when I was a kid. An old fairy tale that the King of Bountiful Harvests. I used to believe it was real, you know. I was told actually if I was made mischief in the fields, the king will actually uh, steal my body away. Here. Oh, the freezing tin! Must be quite of a journey to get here. Crown Tundra is famous for its carrots. You know, I may be interested in getting some uh, carrot seeds as a souvenir. Yes, please. Oh, quite enthusiastic one, aren't you? Oh, I must admit, these seeds are rather valuable to us. What about a trade? Eight pieces of dino, uh, dino ore. I'll give you the seeds. Oh, life is uh, quite a pro-go. Or whatever the phrase was. 
What do I have? 105 for good. There we go. Oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now I can bury the ore in our fields and make a, our crops huge. Early seas, as I promised. The seeds are planted in the field. The kind of care you get to determine which field you plant the seeds in. From planting those seeds I gave you in willy nilly in, in a village fields now. These fields are meant for our own crops. Are you assistant? Hello there. I have some lovely goods for sale. I mean, there's no shame. Uh, I always like to actually get some puzzles. Nice round number. Uh, let's see here. Ah! Nope. Let's see here. You have all those. In the beans! Why are you selling a big pearl? That's my question here. Twenty of those are always nice. Can I sell? No, I can't. Okay. Make it sure. Uh, let's see here. You, sir, talk. The king of bountiful harvests. Well, if it existed, why don't we heal actually the land around here so we can grow crops for a change? Oh, my, uh, my, oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm rather uh, busy doing nothing right now. All right, have fun. I'm walking inside your house if this is your house. Uh, I forgot about you. Hold that side, dearie. Why not actually stay a while and get warm? Would you like to rock and round together with your favorite Pokemon? Yes. Right, it's the best. Enjoy walking together. It's all the place. It's nice to have your lead Pokemon walk around uh, with you in the Crown Tundra. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess actually that's where you turn it off. I don't know why, because I like having Aegis Slash. What's going on somewhere else? Hey, Mayor. Do you remember the King of Bountiful Harvests? Why, of course you do. It's the only main tourist attraction we have in our lovely free, uh, freezing den. After all, I imagine we would be more visitors if we only actually had the king and uh, were real. I told the people in freezing Town about the king of bountiful harvests. I'm to report about the Calyrex. Huh. People do know about the, uh, about ya. Ah, human child, I entrust you to speak to the villagers. So how was it? Did they say anything about me? Oh wait, I was supposed to do something for you. Sorry, I went shopping. And also bought some seeds. They did, but... Hmm? As I expected, but truly believes in, uh, that I am real. Seems the people of this land have indeed forgotten my bond they have once shared with me. No, of course. I'm not grieving. I'm the king of bountiful harvests, after all. I know better than uh, on humans who remember me. Sorry. I have a little yawning effect. I must be actually controlling this human. This poo is my bond. I uh, doubt that I cannot simply rely on human faith if I want my powers. Turn. If only my loyalty were here to return to me, I will regain something of what I lost. Your loyal steed? Yes, a four-legged Pokemon that used to ride across the land. And the very same Pokemon as the statue in the village, showing me riding. Alas, though the ancient times were spent many days together dashing through the valleys over the mountains of this land. My power worn. I was forced to part ways with it. Now, I know not where it might be. Even if 
Be sure that she succeeded in locating my loyal steed. I have my doubts as rather it, it has re uh, remained well loyal. I lost so much from her power. Perhaps the villagers know something about my current not so loyal steed. I would like to your debt to speak to as you hear the village on my behalf. If you were able to actually find any information at all, I ask you to let me know. Ugh! 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 Huh? Chief! That massive noggin! Wait! No, it's not normal! I must have fallen asleep where I stood! <laughs> Sorry about that, Chief! Still, I feel strange, like my body is not quite my own. I guess I'll head back to the base and get some rest. Besides, it's freezing out here! Also, I want actually a cup of. of. too much tea. Okay! Oh, that happened. Time to talk again! He says nothing. The King's loyal steed, I was told that I. Uh, had a wonderful fur coat as white as the untouched snow. Heard the king's loyal steed had be oh, oh, dark as night. The mayor's not home at the moment. Went to have a look at the fields in the giant's bed. You can go look for him if you're in a hurry. The fields of the giant's beds are just southeast of the village. Go through the uh, frost pointed field and just keep going to the left. This way, Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Pokemon, Giant's bed. Yo, hi, Con Condor. How you doing? There he is. Alas, this field is no good either. It has been barren. No crop could possibly grow here. Perhaps the lands of the Crown Tundra are truly beyond hope. What's this? Oh, our dear visitor, what brings you here? Hmm? You want to learn about the loyal steed of the uh, King of Bountiful Harvests? Oh, this is hardly a place for storytelling. Come to my home and freeze a den. It's better to actually hear a nice chat and warmth, after all. Please visit whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. I lost. Look, I'm a squirrel Pokemon. Sorry, I had to make the joke. Da da da. Da da da. Wait, was that Sparkle? Oh, hi, Aerodactyl. How you doing? Argo. Tiny mushroom. I have bomb snows. Oh, no, Jinx. Cragonals. Now, bomb of snow. You see what happens to the statue of the King of Octopus Harvests? Its head has been a massive. Hmm? You say you are uh, the way the king is supposed to look. Mention it does resemble the design of our town's souvenir shirts. As, uh, you speak as, as well. You've seen the king with your own two eyes. The statue has been broken since that when I was a child. Or oh, of course, you want to actually learn about the loyalty of the King of Octopus Forest. A harvest, not forest. That's a different Pokemon. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such thing, but come then, follow me. An old book I had read long ago said the King of Loyal Steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. Or he isn't what it used to be. Can't really uh, recall what exactly the seed was so desired. I think it was the best to search the bookshelves over there if you want to find out more. 
There's a car bank. Search it. What kind of the books here about the Crown Tundra? Which book do you like to read? I'm gonna go through these as best as I can. This is about Calyx. This is about actually pretty much one to two seeds. This is about actually pretty much actually what you're gonna need. This is about actually pretty much actually what uh, crop you're gonna need. This is about actually pretty much something else. This is about actually pretty much actually nothing. I'm done reading. I'm not gonna read all those. My voice is already shot. You want to learn um, about the loyalty of art? Okay, I guess we have to. A horse Pokemon given a power to serve the king and carry its hither and, and thither. Two even became one for a time, combined their strength and created the forest in a single night. This proud steed has been actually a wild thing once, ravaging through uh, the village crops, causing much woe. But the king in all his greatness brought this fierce creature to heal and secure its loyalty. Excuse me. For each among, uh, among us, who claims the seeds hide in, uh, was black as midnight, gloom in which a ghost appears. There has been uh, who claim it was white as a block of solid ice. And our live can say actually which was the truth. Would you like to check out other books? We'll have to check the, uh, check the Reigns of, of Unity. Through the reins, it did get the king in its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by hand of the people who, in thanks for the plenty uh, brought by the king, reins bound not only uh, only the horse and the king one another, they bound the people to the king as well. As they were drawing of each new year, we must never actually forget the gift the king with his offer. We let the a flower of the main of the seed, woven together to bind us in all fate. Let the uh, secrets of the sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. No! Okay, maybe now he'll talk. Alright. Hang on, let me take a drink of something first. Because otherwise, this is going to hurt me more than actually it's going to actually pretty much hurt all you guys. <sighs> okay. Otherwise, my voice is going to be shot. <sighs> and I'm going to give you guys the approved version again. Again, this is actually about Calyx. He's actually pretty much going around and pretty much making everything actually all uh, good with... Uh, with Either one of the two seeds that we are mentioning here. Pretty much uh, their footsteps actually bursting through the uh, soil, making all the crops actually making perfect. But only people actually pretty much pay tribute. Crops? While well, the carrots are growing in the crown tundra, pretty much only actually uh, heaping, the, uh, heaping the snow, all right, roots are developed actually uh, through the ice root carrots. Going to attract so as many souls that are ready to less, the, the shade root carrots be, uh, for your crop. Remember, actually, pretty much shade roots are for ghost type Pokemon, while the ice type Pokemon are for the ice root carrots. One of these two carrots is actually what the seed needs. Find the freezing ten Samba Samba. Is it uh, not tough to, uh, tough to deal in with cold here of the Chondra as the temperature seeming to drop lower and lower by each passing year? While the temperature stays indoors, uh, where it's cozy, don't forget to move your body too. Try the freezing, uh, freezing ten uh, snow snumba today. Get your body moving. Yep, da 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 I deal that for no reasons! Yay! I could've just left. No? 
relics? Intriguing. He wants me to follow him, probably. Round, crown, round, round. Hmm. Oh, hey, over there, Chief. I had a feeling someone was calling me. Was it you? Huh? No, you. Human child. You were able to find something about my loyal steed? Actually, yes. Say so you found something about my loyal steed that could not resist? It has been long since as you rode together that I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may as well lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it my loyal steed would like to actually, uh, find so irresistible? Carrots. Oh, Carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back, uh, even back when we were together, we were leaving for any chance to actually eat some uh, kind of crop. It took everything I had to re uh, restain it. In fact, the crumb must have been actually been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do is now is clear. We must be able to find carrots somewhere to be able to uh, be a trifle to lure my loyalty back to me. I wonder do the humans of the village grow any carrots? How can we obtain a single seed? I could actually grow a carrot my from it myself. Stars! You say you have carrot seeds? Oh, come on. I trade a lot of dino cores for this. That strange bag contains seeds of carrots. Never stopped to adapt and evolving. I'm con uh, constantly amazed by your uh, intelligence. Yet, the village simply won't do. We're not suited for uh, growing carrots. To find actually rich soil, I could use my powers to grow uh, the crops we need. Now, where we might find out the soil suit for growing the crops in the tundra of mine. Uh, 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 huh? Okay. The two spots that might actually suit our needs. One of them is filled with pristine snow. Another spot by the uh, field of gravestones. Or those uh, move on uh, late to rest. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask if you choose a field and plant those seeds. <laughs> well, and, uh, it seems I, I get better at having falling asleep out here. <laughs> Guess it goes to show actually that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Ugh. Don't want some tea or something, like a biscuit. Alright. So you said you pull my map at you that way. Alright. Two fields, one's up here in the snow slide slopes, the other one by the old cemetery. I think we're gonna go to the old cemetery. Cause uh, go inside Pokemon! Hey! Uh. And Nanny! Talking about this uh, King Steed Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear, I'd love to. Ice root carrots, cold as ice. Lunch of, by the bullion, white. Gate root carrots, dark as gloom. Or doom. Crunch by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Make sure you eat your vegetables, too. Just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. Pointless. Pointless, pointless, pointless.
Uh, and other does actually pretty much make you actually pretty much want to go to sleepy. Not much I want to right now because streaming, but still. I already know you guys want to listen to my uh, uh my horrible snoring. <laughs> Alright, we saw a whole bunch of gravestones somewhere, right? Stoninger. Leaf me on. Go down. Aerodactyl. Dragon Bolt. Down here? Hey, guess what I found? This is one of the fields uh, Calyrex uh, told you about. Do I plant the carrot seeds in this field? Yes. Sorry, I'm just using his body right now. He might find himself actually put in a strange placement. Is there so much actually going up there, though? You reach one of the fields. So you plant actually the seeds in the fields. Shade root carrots will grow. It has been long so that my memory haze. I believe my loyal steed would uh, offer partake in some sort of vegetables. Alright, to let you guys know, you are following along to this. If you go to the other, other side, you're going to get a different Pokemon. This is the Pokemon I want. I have both games, so I'll pretty much I just gotta do the opposite of what I'm doing. If Shavu carrots were my steeds prefer, it must be a ghost type. Listen it. It's most vexing that I can't recall. Most we will see. I will ask, but one more, uh, once more. Are you, are you sure this is a field that you, uh, you want to plant seeds? Yep. Very well, then I ask you to plant the seeds. Dig, dig, dig. Plant the carrot seeds in the field. Pat, pat. <laughs> very good, very good. You have an able hand of working with soil. Now then, time to do my part. Let me show you my powers. Da 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 I think I have fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon, it will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now, human child, I must ask you to pull the shade root care free with all your might. For a second, I thought uh, Merlin here was actually a, uh, a different Pokemon. And then uh, I saw Dragon Pulse, like, wait a minute, I own a Merlin. Pull the carry out? Yep. One, two, bolt! Contain the shade root carrot. Purple. Produced actually from the king of bountiful harvests. Um, beloved steam uh, likes to eat. It grew in a gloomy field. Well done, human child. A carrot uh, will be the key of luring my loyal steed back to me. Now I need is the reins of unity. I'm finding my power to lay me the right uh, the loyal steed. With these, but I doubt I shall get a, another set from actually a human village. Wait, and in, in the distance, yeah! Better, my loyal steed is truly you. The glossy black pelt. A rough, violent gallop it has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how it brings back memories! <laughs> it's my belief that a while the seed picked up, sent the carrot. 
It could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off, it must be heading towards the village and attempt to actually pillage the carrots, uh, carrots there. The truth and freeze the teens in danger, human child. Make haste. I shall bring this human back. See ya. Yep, yep. Alright. Again. Great robbing. Yeah. Move the bell. And get through. Oh, get off. There we go. Okay, get back to freezing tin. Oh, Kyrox actually pretty much uh, stopped his horse from actually pretty much, well, destroying the village. Aerodactyl. Eve. That was 64. I golly. Iron head. Change. Ah, dang it. Hey, there. I actually want to catch it. Has anyone seen a horse? Has anyone seen a horse? If you've seen a horse, don't fret, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> Stop. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> This is some intense music. Wait, wait. <laughs> that tier is after your shade root carrot. How about a shadow ball? Double kick? Doesn't affect me. Dance change. Shadow ball. That was easy. I need to stop using Mordelin. <laughs> Alex, need your help. Okay. Are you alright? Yes. I like to feel something stop, uh, stepped in the and uh, save me. Huh? This? Tough of black mane hair. Put the uh, tough of black mane hair in your bags of key iron pocket. Mane of hair uh, belonged to the King of Bountiful Harvest's beloved steed, Specked Hair. Hair is very smooth to the touch. Oh! Kind of visitor! How could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I have no idea that such a vicious Pokemon still exists in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of the Pokemon of the Fairy Tales, the loyal steed of the king. I have no doubt I'm overthinking things. Hey, have there a tough of black mane hair? 
Artel said that once Raven ashes the hair of the loyal steed, together with a, a radiant blossom grown by the king. It's possible to create the uh, reins of unity in linking the king with his steed. And I have my own ancestors who uh, weave the reins of unity all an ancient tradition passed down all the many years. Of course, myself has never seen actually any kind of the radiant flower. The method is, is making it to the reins has also been lost to time. But in any case, and all day mosing over its fairy tales. I must as you make plans and preparation that Pokemon will decide as you pay us another visit after all. Very much for help us and traveler. Still using his body. That's kind of funny. What his mind's going through? <laughs> like, is it going through memories? Anyway, let's go ahead and pay Calyx a visit. I have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Where I, ha uh, I was at my full power, I could actually tame my steed to gain its loyalty. Weaken as I am I now. I could do was influence its will, make it depart. If I had the reins of unity, it would have a, a, allowed me to tame my steed in a short order. Make a set. That? Make a set of reins with the main hair of my loyal steed and a flower? That I can go? Flower, yes, but of course. I assume actually the human has stopped making the reins of unity because they have lost uh, their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow a material needed. I spent far too long holding out my misguided deceptions. Themes. It's always been actually a century since I was able to actually grow a radiant flower. Doing so drained so, uh, so much my power. For whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to return to just now. This is the only thing I can be done. Let the lane flower bloom. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bronius Blumius. I have radiant petal. Petal of the King uh, Bountiful Harvest gave you. Bring its faint light. Ugh! These are wizards. Didn't I admit that the whole flower is beyond me right now? I don't know if the petal will be enough, but I still must ask you if you try to create the reins of unity. Descendants of my family who once made the reins for me could still live in the village. It puts hopes on you, human child. Who I asked though, the two girls? Carrot guy? You know the mayor knows anything. I don't worry much about anyone else. Sonia? Uh, hey lady. Know anything about this? You're running around talking to everyone here in the village. Be friendly. The mayor does know something. Let's put our campsite right here. Oh, uh, mayor. Oh, hello again, savior of the village. Do some more reading? This time. Pardon? We make a set of uh, uh, reigns of unity. Say that present's bit of a problem. Your uh, great granddads were still around. We'll be able to make you a set. Unfortunately, we have no one uh, left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt we have that much of flower you need to actually afford the set of reins. Got a petal at least. Is that a petal from the radiant flower? 
Oh, it means we are, uh, the King of Bountiful Harvest has true. Oh no, I do not help. I recall my ancestors made the reigns of unity by following the uh, ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, the flower and the hair of the Pokemon. Pray those traditions have long since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse such a favor from actually a kind and helpful guest? Heroes, do you please? I promise it will turn out well. Well, that's my great granddad who have made. But I'm breath back in these old traditions in my village. Click clack, click clack. Whirl, whirl. Huh. I'm afraid it has to come out as well as all. Fancy myself of crafting enough sort, but I'm supposing it's a crafting truly dedicated technique. Make such fine rains. Don't look so dejected. Very sorry. Truly, I am. Boy, Mr. Mayor! The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. But oh, you're here too, Chief! For a minute, uh, you you a middle of something? That pair of you obviously seem gloomy. What happened? What? Is that all? <laughs> all you need is to make actually some nice cord. Pass this material uh, for the mo. All right. Kettle got my hair. Now I was uh, supposed to do with them. <clears throat> a bowl allowed me actually share a song that survived all the legends. Also, uh, leave it round and round. The world will get that the main hair abound. Steady on, old bloke. I think it's a bit much. Oh well. I'll do for an answer. Hiya! I'll finish. Have, have a look. What do you uh, do with this? Oh my god, he's useful for something. Pour that, that shines when you hold it to light. People of old times present these with the king of bountiful harvests to express their gratitude. Oh, that cable uh, with your face on! But the lands really split the image of those my family tales. <laughs> I know uh, so all my uh, dear rebellious, uh, rebellious daughter clothes for nothing, you know. Even though those explorer outfits I gave you were hand, uh, handmade by your truly, Chief. <clears throat> if any case. Things that you got the re uh, reins of you, do you? Isn't that just smashing? It was useful for something. I can't believe it. I truly can't believe it. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling out of asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I. I uh, warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base. Uh, water coming down was ice cold. Yeah, uh, ultra mage, uh, major. Uh, uh. Human child, we were able to make the reigns of unity. You bet. Joy, what glorious news! I have some news of my own. I finally able to track down my loyal steed. But here is making the way back uh, to the ho uh, crown shrine is a place where my loyal steed has spent much time together I have been avoiding the place as I feared I will get trapped in my own nostalgia by my own loyal steed is made to the shrine at home is reminiscing of our time together e the crown shine stands majestically on top of the mountain to the north. Bring the care and the reins of unity, and we'll meet there. I shall uh, last in there now, but you may come uh, when you feel uh, ready. Now, now, you child. Uh, 
Oh, no, actually, more stays on the clued. Oof. Okay. I think we'll conclude actually pretty much after we're done with actually Calyx's uh, quest. And then after that, well, you know. The north, right? Am I going the right way? There's a tree. Yeah, go past actually that. There's a gigantic max actually over happening over there. Oh, but I'm going the right way. Yep, there's the entrance. Double bot trader. Kill ball, dust ball, wishing pieces. How many do I have? Can you give? In. Today's highlight. Today's highlight is five red apricorns. My supplies last just one, uh, almost 2,000 bots. Sure. The rest of them will be actually these. You. Oh, it's a snom. Evile. A tang. What was that? Oh, Aurora. <laughs> and Tump. Five. Going up. Up, revamped, revile. Oh yeah, we got past the cave system. I think as long as we keep going upward, we should be fine. Firestone. Frost last. Ball. This collecting is actually for me from uh. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Nice new run. Boing boing. Run. Carbink, Carbink. <laughs> I... Someone else's bike trail? Bunch. Are you a Watt Trader? No, I saw a Watt Trader. Ice Stone. There were Mel Eyes. That's actually pretty good. There it is. Now I got something to tell you guys. Um. Jeez, <laughs> eh, Fred. Um. I went up here by accident and I trigger a cutscene. Nothing happened, but still. There's something over there. We are sucking.
Thanks for five. Oh, he's poking my parking lot. <laughs> okay. Peony actually is funny right there. I've been waiting, human child. Crown Shrine is a place once called home. That tear must be thinking me helpless now. I have lost my powers and taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. I see, you indeed actually brought the reins of unity. And my thanks, child. Ah, I'm uh, holding these again. Color, the way they shine in the light. Oh, it brings back memories. But here's a very proud Pokemon. One might actually even call it arrogant. I would not accept me. I would not accept me as a master again unless I was able to prove my that my powers outweighs its own. I would use the reins of energy to pour my power into his very body of my loyal steed. That should actually convince it that I will indeed still deserving of its loyalty. Now, my child, or my loyal steed to me. Place a shade root carry in that basket near the spectators. Uh, Spectre's made in bed. Carrot! Time has come, human child. But you have successfully defeated my loyal steed once already. Not willing to, uh, willing approach Anyone is considered to be a threat. Must hide and wait for it to appear. I'm sorry, Fiona's just such a pretty much standard body. And here it comes. Carrot! I love carrots. Huh? Uh, hey! And there they go! Ah! Zip! Run, cowboy! Yeehaw! Amazing. And he gets a cape. No capes. Those thin legs. I think he's psychic ghost now? Alex, Spectira. I just realized he has no one connected to his to his, to his hooves. What in the world? That's a huge noggin. And it got to ride? Yeah, there's nothing connecting actually his hooves to his legs. Oh, round, 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 crow. Uh. It's, it can talk? Round. Round, round, round. What do you want? Round, round, round. Round. I have no idea what it's saying, but somehow it makes sense. Hold the phone. Uh, not again. Been child. Wait to your efforts. I have you reunited with my loyal steed. Now I finally have my full power. I was convinced that the people was no longer believe in me. And I have also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in those in the deepness of loneliness. But you saved me. There is no true, uh, no, uh, truly no other words. Sorry, I had a word there. 
and which fully I express in my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. You are able to actually catch me even with your powers restored. I will prove my worth that beyond my, any doubt I will lay you my strength on your journey. Once we have uh, read yourselves, come to face me. But first, I shall get this man back where I found him. It will be as you know good to let him freeze out here in the, in the frigid climb. It's gonna take a second. I can't teleport. You know Merlin will probably be very good here. I don't think so. Now let's see here. Guys are Ken Gigantamax. Dear Air Slash. It's been a while since I, I took a look at these. Bolt switch overdrive. Hmm. No, it's not ice. I think Rattle should actually be very good with this. Put her on top. And I forgot to save. I forgot my own uh, thing. Are your Pokeballs in order to catch Calyx? Ooh. There we go. Thank you, second chances. Don't ask me again, anyway. All right, let's do this. Catalyx has appeared in front of you. Boing, boing. Down, crown round. As one. Unnerved. Raises all stats using some of its own HP. Stats close combat. Which is that? 80? Dragon Claw. If I use actually pretty much the uh Astro Barrage. Ow! Oh, rattles. Throw a Pokeball. You're gonna make it tough, aren't you? Those rattles. Okay, since it's using mostly ghost typage. Grim Nay. Special attack rose. Here's my next Pokemon. Uh I'm not using a psychic move, so this should be good. Throw a Pokeball! I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. I am literally can't believe that worked. Alex, the High King Pokemon, Shadow Rider form. It says actually this Pokemon actually uh, bears a resemblance to actually pretty much a long ago of a fairy tale. Yeah, right. This silver text has been really cocky lately. All right, what do we have here? Special defense up, lower speed, not that good. Astro Barrage, Psychic, Agility, Giga Drain. Good thing I did not try to damage it. 
It's sassy! To the box. Box, box, box. That is a two for, by the way. That is a two for one Pokemon. Human child. No, I shall refer you by, um, by what, what your name is uh, now. Silver Shadow. Yes. Look forward to what adventure we might have together. Huh? Hello, is that you, Chief? It's me, Fioni. I just had a dream about big head Pokemon talking and on and on some weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It don't feel so real. I got worried about you. So I decided I would be better to give you a call and check in. If you haven't hurt yourself, have ya, Chief? Not in a bunch of trouble, are ya? I'm fine. Ah, good to hear, I guess. I got nothing to worry about then. <laughs> the only expectation team is all about actually safety and well-being of its members, after all. So you be careful on your way back, uh, too. You hear? No expectation is over until actually you're safe and sound back at the home base. Go <laughs> down on the current status of Legendary Clue 1. <sighs> I report back to Chief Fioni. I can't ride a bicycle in this place. Anything over here? Yes? Let me check. King Drock, fitting, very fitting indeed. Nothing over there. Okay, making sure. Very calm. You know, I'm really surprised actually that Pokemon does not actually have a 100% uh, catch rate. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Oh, I have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> Guys are right behind me. Oh, I'm surprised I made the bat out of their save. I go through this way. Hopefully, otherwise I'll be lost. Not that way. Hi, Salamence. Hello, Sparkle. Ooh, I'll make I'll make eight. Uh, now I am confused and lost. Wait, maybe I'm not. Ugh! Something shiny? I swear I saw something shiny. Okay, up, that, our bank, down, okay, there's a frost last, okay, we're, we're in the right area. Piece of never melt ice. I Want that. Let's go ahead and try to get it. A thick club. TR Fire Blast. Oh dear. Alright, 
Let's see here. No. I think we have to go back and around. Or not. I am so confused! Wait, no I'm not. Here we go. Oh, barely! Boink, boink. Hey, that's mine. Ice beam! Force cursed. Air slash. Wag my finger and pretty much I should create a uh, gust of wind. Try to make it back a uh, good time here. Who wanna know I should have that Gigantamax? Should we take a detour? Take a detour that is in order. I had Taria. Okay, this place looks beautiful at night. Stoneinger. Right, here we go. Down. More footprints. Like I said, I'll be doing those off screen. One of these. Ah, back. It's this way. Giant's foot. I sent the scorch. Raja. Sent a scorch. Or sent a scorch's body. Run! Raja. Play doll that just appeared in front of me. Okay. Magmar into the scorch. Punch it root. I potion barb. Raja, Magmar, or Copper Rajas. <laughs> Strong Aura, Raja. Or Bulb. Raja. Does the Cobra Rush actually have a giant Animax form? I think it does.
We can always fly back to Yoshi Fioni's house. So that's why we're kind of taking detours. More footprints. Whoa! A dragon? Man! Footprints as you go everywhere. Something else, did I? Nope, just imagine that. These caves. Her bone. In peace. Dazzling gleam. I know if I talk to you, you can make actually something kind of extraordinary. I really want to see actually what this Pokemon is. Avalog. Another Avalog. Actually, what I should be saying is actually pretty much... Uh... God. What, what would be that term? Halosian? Uh, Avalog? Genius Feather. The genius! If I do say so myself. Ah, spiel. Ah, barbecue sauce. <laughs> no one's gonna get that reference. And no context. What is this? Hitmon Lee? Intriguing. Very intriguing indeed. Oh. I mean do that. Hydro pump. There we go. Alright. I think we can actually head back to actually to Fioni and pretty much actually tell him about our little excursion. I guess say. Oi, oi, Chief! How's the adventuring? Anything uh, to report? Legend of the King of the Bountiful Harvests. Alex. Wait. You really caught Calyx from the Legends? That Ultra Mega Brilliant? Report away! That... That noggin's uh, massive! Is that the King of Bountiful Harvest? The one that's calling the shots around here? Well, I could swear I've seen it before. Or then again, maybe not. Anyway, it's definitely a, a regal way to have its steed. The massive head uh, does sort of resemble a crown. It's kindly enough, actually, if any rate. Let's just call it a success expedition. Looks like, actually, uh, you report all of there was to actually a legendary clue number one the king of the bountiful harvests. Smashing! I'll mark this expiration done. Check mark. Got anything else or, uh, legendary you want to talk about? Eh, uh, not really. Fragment of the Sylvan Legends. Chief, your expectation is to ex uh, expect. Well, what's also expect is actually pretty much my stream schedule, which I will be calling this stream right here, at least from the YouTube standards. Remember to come back actually pretty much back here on Saturday to actually for some Splatoon 2. Then we're gonna have some more Pokemon. And. Uh, it's tossing the air. 
Anyway, YouTube, stay unique.